Money management can be daunting and confusing for many Canadians. Now, a new initiative is trying to change that by giving them lessons early. Mike LeCouture explains. My kids have this way of talking to me about money. It's usually, hey, Dad. Uh, how about some money? <laughs> a funny anecdote from the Minister of State for Finance to underscore a serious issue in Canada. Concerned about financial literacy among youth, the government is naming Jane Rooney the country's first financial literacy leader. Financial literacy is an essential life skill in our society. As financial products and services and technology grow more complicated and complex, we need to help people better understand. Students across the country prepared projects for Talk With Your Kids About Money Day. At this Ottawa school, they explored a wide range of money matters from how much it costs to be a ballerina to how much to save for prom. If you put in $200 a year starting in grade 8, um, you'll have $1,000 for prom. Learning hard lessons from her sister's experience, Alexandria Nolan figured out she needs to save $200 a year to pay for prom. The average prom for a girl um, would be around $940 to around $1,500. It can be very expensive. Those are the kinds of lessons the government wants adults to learn. For years, experts have told us that we have to get our debt under control, but few are listening. Statistics show by the end of 2014, the average Canadian will owe nearly $29,000 in non-mortgage debt, like lines of credit, credit cards and car loans. So the feds hope by starting early, they can change the trend. Financial literacy is an important issue for all Canadians. It's never too early to begin the discussion and to have these conversations. A lesson these young minds have clearly learned. We think that learning now this early, we can teach what we learn in grade seven with our kids in the future. A rare sign of maturity that will serve her well as an adult. Mike LeCouture, Global News, Ottawa.